then I'll start on this side and I'll walk the whole farm, look at all the things, notice all the little living guys, like see who's visiting and all that stuff. I also make sure that I don't have any trails, mounds, um, poop. Like I'm looking for a lot of things, you know, make sure that nothing, no critters were digging in the beds, make sure I don't have any, um, any pest infestation or any disease. So I will start that up with those trash. Another stick of deodorant in front of my boobs. That thing's wild. How are you, pigeon? And at first we had beef, but now we don't have beef because they have essentially been trained to stay off the beds. When we first put the beds here, they was all up in it, you know what I mean? And now they just stay here, which is cool because pigeons are opportunistic feeders. So they will eat, you know, they'll eat weeds that pop up, they'll eat insects, which is really my primary kind of thing that I allow them to do is all these little crickets and locusts and all that stuff. Um, but just going through, there's nothing in this bed. These beds are in the process of being cleared out so that they can be turned. But I just want to make sure I don't see any crazy. Much concern there. Oh, okay. I want you to turn. Okay. okay. <laughs> I want to make sure I don't see anything like ant trails call, crawling up the plants or anything like that. So what happens if you get ant trails? Um, if I have some ant trails, they just don't general. They just don't help generally. You know, they get to the fruit. Um, when the trees bear fruit, they like to take the fruit. Good morning. Um, they are also like a transport for other insects like aphids, you know, they work together. So, eh, we don't want no ants in here. Just, you know, not ideal. So, it's good, I'm not seeing anything, luckily. Spider web is fine, it's perfectly fine. Maple fruits. So I would look at what what caused this or why this happened. You know, right. And this is a nectarine. So I just found out that with stone fruit, uh, there's this thing that they can get called gummiosis. And it's basically any type of stress that can cause it. And it just makes the tree like it makes it produce this sticky, clear liquid, kind of like how your body produces white blood cells, like, which is really cool, actually, but that's how you notice. It like drips like a sap or something, and um, that lets you know that that tree is going, is uh, that tree is undergoing lots of stress, but that stress can be caused by um, excessive winds, excessive heats, irregular watering, you know, stuff that we definitely have no shortage of here. So, but it's nice to know and kind of make sure you can watch and monitor and so that everybody's producing um, at the level that they're supposed to be. 